it wasn't an easy one. Um, but first, I must say, I have always had politics in me, um, right from while I was in primary, secondary school, I always knew it was either two things, it was either law or politics. Uh, I, I built it uh, when I got into secondary school. Uh, at that time, I was representing my, my school in debate competitions uh, and I was receiving state awards. So everybody around me already saw that trait and I saw it too. So when I got in, into the higher institution, I decided to go into practical politics. So uh, while I was in 300 level, I decided to, 400 level, that was my final year, I decided to contest for the, uh, for councillorship position in Adige, local government. I uh, would be to be precise. Um, I spent a lot, lot of time, money and all, but at the end of the day, I, I didn't get the position. And basically, um, that was how I got into practical politics. Although, where I live in Adige, that's my mother's house. Um, that's uh, like the meeting point for politicians. So I was already, um, I, I was going to meetings. I was even packing, as, I went as far as packing chairs and, 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 and taking care of, of um, the environment before meetings and all. So I got into the mainstream political setting. Uh, at, at what level and uh, uh, that was how I, I got in and started um, my political career practically basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, after I lost the elections uh, I became a youth coordinator in my ward for the now Speaker of Lagos State. I, it was to the contest elections. Uh, I had already lost the primary so I moved on. Uh, so I mobilized, I started my move because I, I was very young, I was like 23 or 24 at that time. So I got lots of love from the youth around. So I maintained that structure. So that was the same structure I used uh, for him um, during his re-election to the House of Assembly. And um, when he became speaker, he invited me over and um, I started working for him as a special assistant on new media and publicity to the speaker. At that point, I started handling the house, the, the social media for the House of Assembly. And uh, then the opportunity came, and then the recommendation, and then the appointment. Civil service, one thing, the political class and the populace themselves, another, another one. It's not been easy, obviously, as a young man, you are walking into your office and then you are seeing elderly men and women of, between the ages of 40, 50s. I think what I've been able to do, first of all, I must thank my leaders because they guided me right. Um, what I've been able to do is give respect as that when due, stamp my authority as that when due. So um, I've been able to use the what you call carrot and stick strategy. So uh, when you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do, uh, I give you kudos for it. I give you, re I, I give you your respect as an elderly person. But when you don't, you know, you get scolded for it. So it's not a matter of age or class. It's a matter of getting the job done. And that's what is important to me. As far as I'm concerned, the first thing I will say is don't go into it if you don't have a vision for it. It's more about vision. What is vision? Your purpose in pictures. What is purpose? The reason you were created. So whatever you are doing in life, aside it being political or not, if you believe that you were made for this cause, then go for it. Uh, it wasn't a smooth ride. I can tell you categorically, I spent all my savings contesting for counselorship. Then I was into um, car sales while I was in secondary school I, I, um, university. I spent virtually everything contesting because you need finances, you need resources to contest. And um, I always say when you do something and fail and you want to do it again, then you are in, in your vision. So it's not really about going into politics. It's about the right young minds who have a vision in politics. 
taking the bold step. So what I advise is, if you know that you've got a passion, a vision, and you believe that your purpose is to impact politically, then go for it. I took the bold step. At 24, I contested. I had a lot of challenges. I was attacked like two, three times, uh, and I didn't stop. I lost a lot, and I still continued. And that's why I believe that uh, the opportunity came. If I had um, stepped back, or if I had just um, uh, walked out of the political setting, I'm not sure I would have been able to get this opportunity. So first, vision, uh, pursue it, be focused, determined, and someday the opportunity will arise and you take it. Politics is dirty, I agree. Life is dirty too. You know, so um, there is politics in every aspect of life you can think of. What sector? The banking sector? Uh, corporate, corporate bodies, corporate organizations? You have politics everywhere. So if you say because you think politics is dirty, you want to, you want to snap out of it, you want to pursue that vision, then you are getting your own life dirty, dirtier than even the, the, the political setting itself. So if it's dirty, go in and make it clean. And that is what I believe I was created for. I was selling for people and I was making and I was saving. I'd saved a lot. I saved over time. So I could have reinvested the money. But I decided to invest in my vision instead. So this was money that I could, I, I was supposed to be for my own upkeep. But because I already saw my purpose in pictures, that is what, that, like I said, that's what vision is about. You're already seeing yourself as a governor. So whatever hunger that is there right now doesn't mean anything to you because you're seeing that picture there. So at that point, putting my savings, investing it in my vision didn't matter because I already saw my purpose in picture. I have a 30 year plan written of my life, written down. Okay. And um, on that book, I see myself as a vice president in the next 20, 20 25 years. Okay. You know, that is vision. I uh, have seen the picture already. I saw the picture years back and I went for it. And now I'm a sole administrator. I was supposed to be a counselor. Counselor, you can't, you can't compare the two. And the opportunity came. So who knows? A lot. And the truth is, a lot of people have said a lot of things about city people. I, I didn't even know anyone. I got the letter three days before. And I was shocked myself. And that's what I say. Whatever you are doing, just keep doing it. Just be focused. I am sure more will come because I won't relent. Uh, I believe that, like they call me Mr. Impact, the reason why I was created is to make impact. And the line in which I've chosen to make impact is politics. So impact is my watchword first, before even the political activity itself. So city people, it means a lot to me because I read their papers and I have seen from a distance their previous uh, award ceremonies and uh, I never thought in a, a long time I could stand on with governors and all and you know also be uh, presented with such awards so uh, it means a lot to me it's something I cherish a lot it's not the first award since I got uh, National Association of Nigerian Students also gave me an award um, as their youth ambassador um, the Young Achievers Forum, also a, a renowned youth group, a uh, notable youth group rather, also presented me with the Young Achiever of the Year Award uh, and so on. So, but for city people, you know, you saw that I wore a badana, yeah. so, and I went with a lot of people. So <laughs> it, is, it, 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 meant, it meant and still means a lot to me. Okay. And I want to say thank you to city people for okay. deeming it fit, deeming me fit. To, to get this out.
first of all, I want you to take out the word biggest. Achievement is an achievement. That is your job. That is the reason why you were appointed. So when you use the word big, you make that person in office feel like I've done a favor. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So yeah, when we were appointed, we we're supposed to use three months. That was the uh, supposed um, time frame. So I, I immediately outlined my agendas to three points, and uh, they, uh, which are uh, environment, stroke health, education, stroke skill acquisition, and security. On environment, we've done a lot. Now, you can take a survey on your own in Agege. Agege is cleaner than it used to be. We desilt every week. We desilt drainages. We have done a lot of campaign on clean environment, making environments clean. And you know, because Agege people consider it to be more on the rural side. So we had to go into the inner streets to actually let the people know the reasons why um, it's important for them to keep their environment clean. And so far, so good. Also, in that line, we, in conjunction with Rotary Club, we uh, distributed over 5,000 insecticide nets. That was after the Keep Your Environment Clean campaign, you know. And uh, we've done a lot of health programs. Um, also, on education stroke skill acquisition, uh, we have one of the best vocational centers in Lagos State. That's Agege Local Government. And uh, when I got there, I took a tour around the vocational center and a lot of things were wrong. We immediately fixed, replaced, and uh, made the place much more functional. Um, there were about 60, 70 students, and I was wondering why. If we are taking, maintaining this place with taxpayers' money, so why are people not participating? So immediately we, wrote, uh, we, we, we printed forms and gave it out and did um, a lot of sensitization. And to God be the glory, in December, we graduated over 380 students from the vocational center, which is the highest number that have, have graduated in the history of that vocational center. And I also donated my December salary to the three best, uh, best three overall students. Uh, and also we empowered three best students from each um, um, departments. For instance, for, for the computer um, training section, we donated a laptop. For the t uh, tailoring, we donated hair dryers and all. Then the three overall, uh, best overall students, we gave them my salary so they could start up something. Um, on security, Agege is safer. It used to be uh, volatile in terms of security because of these so-called Awawa, Awawa boys. Uh, and so far, so good. With the help of the police, Nigerian police, and the DPOs, um, divisional police, uh, there in Agege, we've been able to channel a sort of communication network. And uh, so far, Agege is safer than it is. Um, soon, we will be distributing over 1,500 school uniforms um, to students. We'll we'll also be doing a sort of talent hunt um, before the end of the month um, to actually bring out the best. Um, in our uh, uh, youths, um, we are working with um, some Yoruba um, uh, movie academy, such that um, they can come around and we can do a sort of open auditions, and then we sponsor the best twenty to go in to the to the uh, film academy, and we believe that from those twenty, we can produce at least ten of them will become stars and or celebrities tomorrow and also come back and replicate what we have done. Uh, we have done a whole lot, <laughs> we have done a whole lot. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's just a few from, from many others. Well, I would say we have not done bad. When you give birth to a child, there's what you call developmental process in psychology. Um, the child doesn't walk immediately. You crawl and then you walk before you can run. 
I think right now we are at the crawling stage, and very soon we'll be working. In terms of the economy, in terms of security, we are already working. Economy, we are still crawling, but very soon we'll be working. And uh, every other thing you can think about is just one of the, the um, uh, what's the word? Things that must happen during the developmental uh, process. Uh, if a child begins to crawl, at one point, or one point in time, he might hit his head, he might fall off, and he, stand, he will stand up again. So I believe at the federal level, the so-called Senate Executive um, uh, um, Rift of uh, fiction, fiction, if you call it, uh, would soon be over. So you think the president knows what he's doing? Of course. Of course, I think you, you can um, say that with your chest. Yes, <laughs> yes, because um, we APC is a party of constructive minds, and we have chosen a president that we believe can lead us. But I believe that APC is a new party. It's like a baby being born. Like I said, it will take time. Okay. At the state level, ah, we have done, we have done perfectly well. We are leading so far, as far as I'm concerned. Remember, has done, he has surprised me. I believed in him. I knew he could perform, but I did not know that I could perform at this rate in such a short time. He has done what I believed he would have done in eight years, in just two years. And I is, is a governor that acts more and talks less. And um, Lagos State is flourishing right now. In recession, Lagos State is the only state in Nigeria that has employed way over 30,000 youths. In recession, the IGR of Lagos State keeps increasing. In recession, Lagos State is the only state that has done the highest number of capital projects and so many others. So right now, I would say that every other state should take a cue from what Lagos State Government is doing. I think Nigerian youth will need to redefine ourselves. Um, and um, I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not just going to say that, we are acting it already. Um, I'm a convener for a forum called the Forum for Progressive Students and Youth. And um, we are trying to uh, uh, form a Voltron um, to stand as a voice for Nigerian youth uh, and bring the students and the youth under one body so our leaders can listen more. Um, I say we are sitting on gunpowder. Two or three weeks ago, Lagos State University graduated over 36,000 students. We are going into the same congested labor market. So we have decided to say, okay, how do we come in? It's not just about talking. It is not just about criticizing. It's about making the little impact you can. And um, very soon we are coming up with the Eco Youth Summit, whereby we bring every final year student of every university under one roof and actually mentor them and prepare them to go into the labor market as employers of labor such that they can also go into the labor market to decongest the already congested labor market. So I'm going to say this to Nigerian youth. Vision is your purpose in pictures. Whatever you believe you are created for, that thing that you suddenly see that you have passion for, that thing that even when you do and fail, you want to do again, is the right thing you are supposed to be doing. It is very important for us to redefine ourselves and believe that we can actually make it work for ourselves. So to Nigerian youth, take a bold step. Rome was not built in India. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Yeah.